So what else can we do to help customers find even more uses for iPad, to use it in places they never imagined, in manners they never have before? <laughs> I think we can tell by your excitement you know what this is. <laughs> this is iPad mini. And, and what can you do with an iPad mini that you can't already do with the amazing fourth generation iPad? And now this just isn't a shrunken down iPad. It's an entirely new design with a beautiful aluminum and glass and glass detail is finely crafted and made, just exquisite. And the process by which they're manufactured are at a level of tolerance that's unseen in our industry. There is nothing as amazing as this. This incredibly thin and beautiful iPad mini. Beautiful from every angle, incredibly thin and light. Would you like to see one in person? That is amazing. Here, let me tell you a lot more about it. So this iPad mini is just 7.2 millimeters thin. That's about a quarter thinner than the fourth generation iPad. To put it in context, it's as thin as a pencil. That's thin. It weighs just 0.68 pounds. That's over 50% lighter than the previous iPad, fourth generation. So in context, what could you compare that to? It's as light as fourth generation. So in context, what could you compare that to? It's as light as a pad of paper. We were gonna say a book, but books are much heavier. <laughs> so we came up with a pad of paper. It comes in black and white the white with silver, the black with a slate back. It's beautiful on both sides. But I think one of the biggest questions people wonder is, what screen size do we pick and why? And the team worked really hard thinking about this. We want an iPad that's capable of running all that amazing software written for iPad without developers having to do any work. We want it to be smaller such that it could be thinner and lighter, as you can see, but not so small that it stops being incredibly usable because the iPad is the most usable of all these devices. So let's look at it side by side. Here is the current iPad 2 next to the iPad mini. The iPad 2 is 9.7 inches on the diagonal. iPad mini, 7.9. So that's easy to remember, right? And the new iPad mini is 1024 by 768. That means all of the software created for iPad all works on the iPad mini, unchanged. And it's great to use in both the portrait and landscape position, which our customers love to use it in both manners. So it's great for reading your email and responding to your email and surfing the web. It's great for and hold it and do a FaceTime HD phone call on something so thin and light. It's great for all of your iWork applications, Keynote, Pages, Numbers. It's fantastic for all the iLife applications, iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand. I mean, it is so much fun to sit there and play multi-touch software instruments in GarageBand on this thin and light iPad. Applications work wonderfully on it. So if you're a customer who likes to use Facebook all day long, you're going to love using Facebook on the new iPad. If you love creating content with applications like Paper, an amazing drawing application, you're going to love doing that on iPad mini. If you love playing games, playing and creating content with applications like Paper, an amazing drawing application, you're going to love doing that on iPad mini. If you love playing games, playing incredibly amazing games like Real Racing 2 are incredible on the new iPad. In fact, I could sit there here and do 275,000 examples for you, and I would love to, but we don't have enough time. They work amazing on iPad mini. No one else can say that with their tablets. In fact, others have tried to make tablets small on the iPad. Let's just look at the bezels around the display. 
Ours, the iPad mini, is made of aluminum, and we've worked hard to make it thin so it's comfortable to hold and use with one hand. Theirs is made of plastic, it's thicker. In fact, the entire product, that Android product, is thicker and heavier than iPad mini, even though it has a smaller display. So let's look at those displays. On the diagonal, theirs is seven inches, the iPad mini is 7.9. That doesn't sound like a lot more, does it? Well, that's on the diagonal. The actual area of the display, 21.9 square inches for the Android tablet, 29.6 for the iPad mini. The iPad mini is actually over a third larger display area, 35.9 square inches for the Android tablet, 29.6 for the iPad mini. The iPad mini is actually over a third larger display area, 35%. That's a huge difference. And it doesn't stop there. What's the number one thing people do on their iPads? Surf the web. We love to surf the web on our iPads. So here's surfing the web. This is a popular museum, the Guggenheim Museum. Let's remove all that noise and just look at the web pages. You can see a huge difference. The iPad mini, it's about 50% larger for surfing the web, holding your portrait orientation. That is a gigantic difference. Yet the iPad mini is thinner and lighter. As I said, many customers also like to use it in the landscape orientation. So let's turn them sideways. The iPad mini is two-thirds larger to surf the web. There is a gigantic difference in these products. And it doesn't stop there. There's all those third-party applications. As Tim told you, we have these amazing applications for iPad users. And we've learned, we have over 700,000 applications that can run an iPad, but customers love the ones written for iPad, designed for that screen over 275,000 of them. You get a great experience on iPad mini, you get a scaled up phone experience on that other product. There's a big difference. If you like to shop on eBay, a huge difference between what you can do on an iPad and on these other products. If you like to listen to music in Pandora, the differences are night and day. <coughs> if you like to go search for videos to watch in Vimeo, a great experience, a not great experience. Like to plan your trip on TripAdvisor. An incredible experience on iPad mini. Well, you know, right? <laughs> like to plan your trip on TripAdvisor. An incredible experience on iPad mini. Well, you know, right? <laughs> so we can go on and on. So let's, let's talk a little bit more about what's inside iPad mini. It is a great iPad. In fact, the technologies inside are equal to or better than a chip, a dual core A5 chip that has more than enough power to drive this incredible mini display and give you great performance for all your applications and games. It has a FaceTime camera now better than what we had in iPad 2, a FaceTime HD front side camera. An even bigger difference on the camera on the back side, a five mega games. It has a FaceTime camera now better than what we had in iPad 2, a FaceTime HD front side camera. An even bigger difference advanced what we had on iPad 2. The wireless has advanced greatly too. It has the same LTE capabilities that you see in our new fourth generation iPad, LTE wireless. We have the fast, fast Wi-Fi. We've built in that lightning connector so it's compatible with the accessories being created for iPhone 5, the fourth generation iPad iPod Touch and iPod Nano. And all of this technology, all this incredible capability in such a thin and light device, the team has worked really hard to get you the same battery life, 10 hours of battery life, just like the fourth generation iPad. So hopefully, <laughs> so hopefully, as you've been hearing about all these features and performance and capability, you see it is every inch an iPad. So we've created a video to tell you a lot more about it. I'd like to play that now. But also remarkably simple to use. So our goal was to take all the amazing things that you can do with a full-size iPad, but pack them into a product that is so much smaller. And that's what we did with the new iPad Mini. One of the things that makes iPads so incredible is that there's almost no end to what you can do with it iPad mini, we wanted to make sure it had all the features that make iPad so magical. 
We began with a display that has the same resolution as the iPad 2, so all your apps and content look and work the same way. And at 7.9 inches, it's small enough to fit in one hand, but it's still large enough to give you that rich, immersive iPad experience. It has a dual-core A5 chip for fast, fluid performance, both FaceTime and iSight cameras. It gets a full 10 hours of battery life, and it runs more than 275,000 apps made just for iPad. These aren't scaled up phone apps. These are powerful apps that take full advantage of iPad Mini's beautiful display. You can access all your favorite music, movies, and TV shows from the iTunes Store. One and a half million books on the iBookstore, and over 5,000 magazines and newspapers on Newsstand. And another thing we're really excited about is that iPad Mini comes with FaceTime HD. Seeing your friends and family in high definition makes you feel like you're that much closer. If all that we had done was take the original iPad and just reduce it, all that you would be aware of was, was everything that was just missing. That there is inherent loss in just reducing a product in size. And what we did was we went back to the very beginning and we took the time to design a product that was a concentration of, not a reduction of the original. We felt strongly that 7.9 inches was exactly the right display size, but it became clear that we had to reduce the width of the borders so you can still pick it up and easily use it with one hand. We have continued to develop our unibody process there are essentially two parts to the enclosure, the glass and the aluminium. And that junction, where the two parts actually come together, is incredibly important. The diamond cut chamfer meets seamlessly with the glass and the aluminium. And that junction, where the two parts actually come together, is incredibly important with the glass. And I think it's a beautiful detail that further reduces parts and actually makes it more durable. We also designed an entirely new smart cover for the iPad mini. By eliminating the separate aluminium hinge, we now essentially wrap the iPad mini in a single, simple colored material. The biggest challenge that we faced is 0.2 millimeters thin. The touch subsystem is a mere 0.12 millimeters thin. It weighs half as much as any we've ever done before. Beyond the screen, we took some dramatic steps to maximize the screen, we took some dramatic steps to maximize interior space. It has the largest and thinnest single cell battery we've ever designed. We've designed a smaller motherboard to house the powerful A5 chip and built in the new smaller lightning connector. We also redesigned the iSight and FaceTime HD cameras and they allow you to a great line of accessories including these optional smart covers that come in blue, green, pink, light gray, dark gray, and even a great product red one as well. They're smart so they work with the software intelligently and they're great to use in every angle. And they really complement this incredible new iPad mini. The iPad mini starts with a full 16, full 16 gigabytes of memory. And the Wi-Fi configuration will be priced at 329. Of course, that is the lowest price yet for an iPad, helping us to reach even more customers. So this is the iPad lineup. iPad mini it starts at 329, iPad 2 at 399. Yeah. Of course, that is the lowest price yet for an iPad, helping us to reach even more customers. So this is the iPad lineup. iPad mini it starts at 329 iPad 2 at 399, iPad fourth generation with a Retina display at 499. Of course, there are many configurations of memory you can choose from, so there those all are, the Wi-Fi configurations, and then of course cellular configurations. So there's something in a wide range of price for everyone in each the most amazing best iPad or tablet device that anyone, anyone has offered. Now, if you want to get your hands on one, how are you going to do that? Well, both iPad mini and the fourth generation iPad be able to start to pre-order this Friday on October 26th. 
and the Wi-Fi versions will ship first, just a week later, on November 2nd, to a large list of countries. Here they are. And then about two weeks later, we'll start to ship the cellular versions, first in the U.S., and then gradually around the world. Of course, like all of our products, the team works very hard to make sure this is environmentally friendly, the iPad mini, and the fourth generation iPad, arsenic-free display glass, mercury-free display, VFR-free, PVC-free, and of course, highly recyclable. So this is an amazing new addition to our iPad family. We're going to be so excited to tell customers about it. Isn't that great? Thanks. Definitely thanks to the ad team for that. They just really came up with the most creative way to introduce an iPad mini to everyone who already knows how great iPad is. And that's iPad mini. Let me turn it back to Tim. It's very cool. We told you earlier this year that you would see some incredible innovation from Apple across the year. Innovation that only Apple can deliver. We think we've kept our promise, and I hope that you agree. We shipped Mountain Lion and iOS 6, the latest versions of our desktop and mobile operating systems with hundreds of new features, including great new features that help Macs and iOS devices work seamlessly together. We launched two new incredible iPods, a completely redesigned Nano and an amazingly thin fifth generation iPod Touch. We launched the unbelievable new iPhone with an incredibly thin and light design with a beautiful four inch retina display. We refreshed our entire lineup of notebooks and reinvented the Pro Notebook with the 13-inch, 15-inch MacBook Pro with Retina displays. And we announced today the unbelievably thin and unbelievably gorgeous new iMac. Earlier this year, we announced the third-generation iPad with a Retina display. And today, we replaced it with a faster, with a faster fourth generation a incredible year with all of these new products and all of the applications and cloud services. This has been a truly prolific year of innovation for Apple. We hope that you love these products as much as we loved creating them. I'd personally like to thank all of the teams at Apple that have worked so hard to create everything you've seen today and everything across the year. They dedicate a huge across the year. They dedicate a huge part of their lives to making the best products on earth. with them. I want to thank everyone for coming. We've got a hands-on area with all of the new products you've seen today. It's upstairs. I invite you all to go get your hands on them. They're fantastic. Thank you for joining us.